And now you can take your hands and grab your heels with your hands or maybe place your hands on your thighs. Or if you like it, you can put your hands on your knees. And then start to bring your weight forward, forward, forward towards your pubic bone. So bring your lungs with you. And then exhale, you round and you sit on top of your tailbone. Every inhale, bring yourself forward. So you're pressing your pubic bone down. You're bringing your lungs through. And every exhale, you round and you go in. You're putting your weight onto your tailbone. Every inhale, bring yourself forward. And every exhale, take yourself back. You can start really slow here to start to undulate your spine forward and back. And then whenever you find like you got this movement, it is very simple. It is a line, right? From the pubic bone to the tailbone right? It's forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Every inhale, you bring yourself forward. And every exhale, you take yourself back. Nice. And really take all of your mind from up here and put it down here. So let your mind go down towards your pelvis and let it occupy all of that space and start to move from the pelvis. So the whole game here is happening in your first floor, in your basement, in your root system, and you're playing this game between your pubic bone in front and your tailbone in the back. Start to connect your hearing to your breathing so that you have a little bit of sound. And there's a little bit of friction that is happening underneath you. You can start to take yourself out of your comfort zone and start to make it loud, start to make it more rhythmical, start to make it a little bit more dramatic here, as if you're really starting to strike a match underneath you. This is really the first fire in your body, the most important one, the one that will dictate the health of everything else, that will dictate the functioning of all of the organs. So really put this little fire underneath your bum here and start to move forward and back, forward and back, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. From your pubic bone in front of you, like your potential, like sniffing the future, to your tailbone behind you, like your memories reflecting on the past. Continue moving in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out out, in, out. Beautiful. So nice. Give yourself 10 more of these. Beautiful. And then bring yourself back towards the middle. Take a moment here to let your breath come back to a completely normal, undisturbed pattern. You can imagine 12 o'clock in front of you, like your pubis, like the potential where you're moving towards. And six o'clock is behind you, like your past, your memories, where you're coming from. And now you can add another line, which is east and west. So take your awareness to your right hip and your left hip. You can put three o'clock on your right hip and nine o'clock on your left hip. Can you, with your imagination, make these two points away from one another a little bit more so that you have more space between your left side and your right side, between your east and your west? And then switch where your hands are, but keep them on your lower body. You can put them on your thighs if they were on your heels. You can put them on your knees if you'd like as well, so that you're sticking your butt out a little bit more. And now start to stir the pot clockwise, moving towards 3 o'clock, towards 6 o'clock, towards 9, and towards 12. Start moving in a big circle here trying to hit all of these numbers and all of the numbers that are in between. So there's 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Continue moving this game of time here, moving with the passage of time, moving with the spin of the planets, moving with the regular flow where life goes. It always goes from left to right. So put yourself in that flow and move with the currents. Let this start to heat up a little bit, to warm up a little bit your kidneys, your adrenals. You can imagine your body as a vehicle, a vehicle that takes you places. And now you're really making sure that you have air in your tires. So inhale half of the circle and exhale the other half of the circle. Beautiful. Making sure that your kidneys are having this beautiful breath so that you're not only breathing into your lungs, but you're breathing down towards your kidneys. 
Beautiful. And then bring yourself back towards the center and inhale, exhale, just like you did before. In, out, in, out, in, out. Striking that match underneath you, bringing a little bit of that fire. If your hands are on your thighs, let them move up and down. Don't move them up and down. Let them move up and down. Let the strength of the pelvis, let this big curve that you're creating, all of that movement, let it take your hands up and down. Let it create that friction, that heat underneath your palm. As if you're, you're discovering fire for the first time, like those very first men and women who were on the planet, right? This big abracadabra, this big aha moment when the fire was discovered. So put yourself in those shoes and start to find this match underneath you, this, this uh, spark underneath you, in, out, in, out, in, out. Whenever you feel like you have the key in the ignition here, the engine is going, you're well heated, you can bring yourself back to the game of the circles and this time move counterclockwise. Start to move your hips from 12 to 9 to 6 to 3. So now you're moving in the opposite direction. You can keep a connection between your hands and your lower body. Maybe take them back towards your heels. Keep playing here with the way you handle things so that you can start to give yourself all of these experience and not be blindsided or too attached to one way of doing things. Because whenever we do it another way, because of any circumstance, we break, we get into depression. Sometimes we break our bodies, right? Because we always do it a certain, certain way. So give yourself other ways of handling yourself and now start to move counterclockwise against the grain of the planet against the grain of the world against what people say what society does what they taught you in school at church in the synagogue in the mosque right all of these stuff go against them just for a second doesn't mean that you you don't respect them or that you don't believe in them it's just like go to the beat of your own drum what if there was none of all of these stories none of all of these lessons none of all of these teachings and it's really all about you and your intuition and your uh, your uh, synthesis of what life is this is really moving towards the left side and then bring yourself to the middle one last time in out in out in out in out put that fire underneath you making sure that your engine is still going even though we were just moving very suavely very organically right and left left and right now you're moving forward and back you're putting a little bit of fire underneath you and now you can start to watch this fire rise <laughs> and rise and rise until it lands in the center of your chest. This is the fire of your compassion. Be loud, be proud and be loving at the same time. We're almost there. Give yourself last 30 more, allowing this fire to rise and rise, purifying your throat, your speech, your articulation. Let this fire rise right in between your eyes, right in the center of your eyebrows until it lands in the fire pit of your imagination. Put yourself in your third eye for the last five. And then bring yourself to the middle. Exhale all your air out. Make contact with the floor or, or your body. Inhale, lift both arms up towards the sky. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Hook your thumbs over your head. Pull your thumbs apart. Take three sips of air through the mouth. <sighs> Fill your upper lungs. <sighs> Whenever you're completely full, squeeze your perineum and then draw up your chin down towards your chest. Maybe inhale a tiny little more to top it all off. Put yourself under pressure. You can do it. Squeeze the perineum. Imagine the energy lifting up towards your third eye. Gentle focus on the third eye. Maybe swallow. Whenever you're ready, imagine yourself shooting the breath through the crown of your head. Exhale, hands down, palms up, eyes closed. Every time you inhale, you can image fire rising behind your back. Every time you exhale, you can image water descending in front of you. Every inhale, see your effort, your memories, like tiny little balls of fire rising up your spine. And every time you exhale, release everything and watch these tiny drops of water going down in front of you, like your potential, your dreams, the seeds of your intention. Very nice. When you're ready, you can open your eyes.
you can interlace your fingers to the webbing, creating a third hand here. And then you can bring this third hand and put it right in front of your, the center of your chest so that your sternum, your thymus gland is really making contact with the third hand. The palms are pressing on your chest and the elbows are open towards the sides here. Take a moment to make your form formal. So maybe lift your butt, stick it back so that you're really plugged down completely underneath you. You have all of this fire inside of you. You can start to feel the heart beating on your palms. You can start to feel the mirroring between your thymus gland, your sternum, your heart center, and your third hand, which is an outside manifestation of this part of you, this core part of you where your soul resides, where your immunity resides as well where your compassion resides as well. Feel that transfer of energy between these two places, which are really the same. One is internal, implicit. One is external, explicit with the fingers. And then open your eyes. Take your hands, do the same thing, but behind your back this time. So this time the palms are facing out behind you and your fingers are on your back, right? So the shell of your hand is on the shell of your back and your palms are looking at the wall behind you or the window behind you or whatever is behind you. And then lift your hands up, 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 up your back so that your hands are still right behind your sternum this time. Let your elbows move out and down. Let your shoulders move back and down. And let your lungs come forward. Take your mind inside of your thumbs and let your thumbs be straight up right in between your shoulder blades so they are parked there. And then start to flap your wings, bringing your elbows forward and back. <laughs> and put the breath of the Bastrika into it, which is an inhale and an exhale, equal parts, in, out, in, out. Start to make it loud. And start to make it rhythmical with the movement. Reconnect yourself with your vehicle this beautiful vessel that your body is, you're really starting to prime it so that you can take it for a drive. Now you can think of yourself as if you are pumping your gas inside of your tank, right? Putting fuel inside of you, in, out, in, out. The fuel being your breath, the fuel being the prana, the ores, the minerals of the universe, all of that space dust that nourishes us that allows us to stay alive for a long time, even if we stop eating food. So fill yourself with prana. Fill yourself with life. Let this movement become a little bit more engaged, a little bit more adamant, a little bit more mechanical, a little bit more fierce. So fill yourself up here for the last 20. Notice if your elbows are coming forward more and see if you can flap them back a little bit more so that you're giving your, your shoulders another experience here. Instead of flapping forward, maybe flapping them back. So good. And then start to slow it down. Bring yourself to the middle. So nice. Separate your hands. Take them down on your thighs, palms facing down. Every time you inhale, you can imagine spring rising in front of you, the season of spring. Every time you exhale, you can imagine autumn falling behind you, the season of fall. Every inhale, you can see the blossoms rising. Every exhale, you can see the leaves falling behind you. See if you can start to slow down your breath a little bit so that you have four aspects in your breath. You have an inhale, you have a slight pause at the top, 
then you have an exhale behind your back and then you have a slight pause at the bottom the inhale will become your spring rising in front of you like your potential when you're full you can image summer ripening at the crown of your head and then you exhale you let it go you watch fall falling behind you down towards the earth and then you can stay empty underneath your pelvis for the cave of winter and then you do it again every inhale spring rises the blossoms the sprouting and then you keep your breath in the pregnant pause at the top the fruits ripening and then you exhale you let it go and you watch everything fall behind your back just like your memories being reflective and then when you're empty you stay empty for the insight of the emptiness of winter and then you do it again inhale spring rises Hold for summer ripens. Exhale for fall falling behind the memories. And then stay empty for winter. Very nice. Let your breath come back to normal. Open your eyes. Take your hands, palm facing palm. So like this, but fingers facing. Palm.